from the lake to the kitchen now. We are in here with Julia Yoder. She is one of the chefs with the Club of Cordier. Thanks for coming in early this morning. Oh, my pleasure. You're giving Danny the day off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know he's watching right now. He wants uh -huh. to say good morning. You know he is for sure. Hi, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. So, Julia, you're one of the chefs up at Timber Hearth. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I do work in the I'm lead line cook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lead line cook. Well, yes. you do a little bit of everything. You work right beside Chef Danny on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. You guys can kind of come up with new ideas for for entrees and uh, mm -hmm. you're kind of like an artist in a sense too. I think that's pretty neat. Kind of food artist. Food artist. <laughs> so you have some great stuff on the menu at the Timber Hearth mm -hmm. and today you have a, a scallop entree. Tell us about it. Uh, so we're going to do a scallop carbonara and carbonara is like an Italian dish with we're going to do homemade pasta. So we're going to start in a medium hot pan. Right here we're going to just start with some butter. Butter. Yes, everything starts with butter. Everything is. My mom's the same way. Butter, yes. butter, butter. Butter's good. It butter makes really it better. Yes. Okay, so you're going to just do some saute and you're going to do some, you're going to drop those scallops. Are those scallops going to be doing their own thing in their own pan too, yes. right? Yes. Yes, they are. Hot pan for those. And we'll go ahead and season them right now. Salt and, uh, and pepper. Tell me about your scallops. What, do you know what kind of scallops they are? Um, they are U10 sea scallops. And that means they're uh, 10 or less per pound. And those are big, so there's a difference between the sea, which are the bigger ones, and the bay scallops, which are the little small ones, right? Oh, yeah. The little ones are, are delicious as well. But these ones are big, and we can get a good hard crust on them when we sear them in a hot pan. I love scallops. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where are we going? Butter is doing its thing. Here we go. Butter is doing its thing, and then we're going to start with some pancetta. Now, pancetta is not officially bacon. It's an Italian style of bacon, though, Yes, correct? it's Italian style of bacon, and it's a lot saltier, and it's usually seasoned with black pepper. So we'll start with that, and then we'll throw in some cremini mushrooms. Cremini mushrooms. Do you ever go foraging around the valley? Have you done that before? I have never, but okay. I would love to. And I love wild mushrooms and all the mushrooms around here. We get a lot into the restaurant, actually. And then mm. I'll throw some some peas in there. A little color, a little yum, a little sweetness. Yes. Okay. Let that cook a little bit. Now this menu, this is available on the menu right now. Uh, yes, it is our down home cooking special. And we have a different one pretty much every week. And it just changes depending on what we have in house. And you can take this carbonara basis, you know, the foundation with the carbonara and you can do different things with it. If you were cooking this at home and you didn't have scallops, you could do other proteins. Oh yes, you can do chicken, you can do tilapia, that's easy. And whatever you want in, you can just have it by itself. Do you like cooking with tilapia? Is that a popular fish for y'all? Um, actually, trout is our, one of our most popular oh. fishes in the house. I right just tried now. to catch a trout out on the pond there a little while ago. Oh wow. I know, we were trying <laughs> to catch it on those stand-ups, but it was a little dicey. Was a little, yes. They weren't quite ready to eat. Okay, so here we go, <laughs> keep going. Sorry to interrupt. It's okay. And then we're gonna deglaze with some white wine. Now, what is the deglazing? What's the purpose of the deglazing? It takes all the good stuff that stick to the pan and it brings it out and puts it into the sauce and just adds more flavor to it. Salt. Any special kind of white wine or just any kind of white wine? Any works? kind of dry white wine okay. is what we usually use. And then will this give just a little bit of a, of a wine flavor too? Um, very little. Okay, so that's minor. Yes. Okay. And then we'll add some heavy cream to it. Of course, the heavy cream with the butter. That's yes. perfect for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Perfect I'm getting breakfast. excited about this. <laughs> I'm learning how to make this. I'm going to make this at home tonight, I think. Oh, yeah. It's super easy to make at home, and it's delicious. And then we're going to let the cream kind of reduce a little bit. Okay. We'll get this pan hot, ready for the scallops. That's heavy whipping cream, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Heavy whipping cream. And Olive oil? Yes. Or is that a combination? It's a combination of olive oil and canola oil. Because of the heating point or the... Yes. Okay, I want to yes. make sure because that's what Danny talked about last week too. Yes. It's interesting. It's all about that and uh, the olive oil adds a really good flavor to the scallops as well. Okay. And we don't really need to put the pasta in quite yet. Once we drop the scallops, then we will do that. Let's drop the scallops. Yes. Drop scallops. <laughs> <laughs> And we're, we have a couple minutes left, so I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Oh, and how long does it take to, to cook the scallops? It's pretty quick, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's very quick. As long as you have a hot pan, you can get a nice crisp outside. And then we'll go ahead and put the pasta in the water. Your homemade pasta? Homemade pasta. Oh, boy. Yes. Can't beat this. Yeah, and while those are searing, we'll go ahead and add some uh, Parmesan to the sauce. Of course, you got to put the Parmesan in there with yes. the butter and the heavy cream. Love it. Of course. 
stir that around a little bit. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm just going to make it clear that no one else in the studio gets to eat this today except me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some fresh herbs in there. Do you have a little herb garden up at Timber Hearth? Um, we do have a garden okay. and uh, there's some herbs in there. We've got some tomatoes, green onions that we use frequently in the kitchen. And uh, we're just, this is kind of like our trial year and we're definitely going to, uh, next year will definitely be better. I bet. That's yeah. great though to have access to your own produce in your own garden. Oh That's yeah. That's great. And you walk right out the door and there it is. Yeah. Farm yeah. to table kind of. Farm to table yeah. for sure. Yes. Yeah. All righty. Okay. So those are doing their thing. Scallops are cooking on one side. You're going to flip those probably in another minute and a half or so is my oh, guess. Yeah. That's exactly See, I'm right. Just taking a guess. I'm your little helper today. Oh yes, thank so you. So you just boss me around if you want me to do something. All right. Since the pasta was so thin, it really doesn't take long to cook, and it's not dried out like normal pasta you can get at home. But you can also use that. As so are well. you waiting for this to to return to a boil, or not necessarily? No. Nope. Okay. It can cook in uh, just warm water since it's so thin. Uh, thin. Okay. Yeah. But I think it's about ready. I like those noodles. Those are wonderful. Yes. Look at those. It's pappadelli. Pappadelli. Yes. So I'll put that in there. Oh, you guys. Oh, your mouth has got to be watching. Everybody watching this yes. right now. It's got to be. So then we're going to turn that off. Yep. And then the last thing we're going to do is add an egg to it. And we're going to wait till it stops boiling for a minute. Wait, wait, wait. So we're having breakfast. Yes. There's an egg in the pasta. So it and you do that. That's something normally that, that you do. Yes. It ma kind of makes the carbonara and it changes the flavor of it a little bit. And it's fantastic. An egg in the pasta. I love it. Yes. And then we're going to flip the scallops now. Okay. Now, typically with an entree, what's a normal number of scallops? Three, typically? Um, yeah, three uh, to five. Okay. We want to keep an odd number. Just for the layout, right? Yes. For the artistic side of what you do. Yes. For like some that. reason, people love odd numbers. <laughs> really? Yes. Now you just turn that off. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to put that. Just so I know what you yes. got going on. All righty. Okay. So we're going to add the egg to it. You want me to grab your plate over here just so you're ready to go on? Yeah, okay. that's perfect. You want both of them or just one? Are we going to sit down and have dinner together? I think so. <laughs> Some <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> now we're just going to mix the egg in. Mixing the egg in with the pancetta. Yes. Oh the God. mushrooms and... And it kind of changes the color of it and the flavor like thickens that. it up. Boy, did I learn a lot of stuff today. Yes. All righty. Wonderful. So we're going to take this, bring it over. Okay, so here's the deal. We're going to go to a quick weather with Ken. You can start finishing this up, and then they'll come back to us for the plating. So you have another minute or so, two minutes, okay? All right. Okay, so I've got Julia Yoder here in the kitchen. She's the Club of Cordillera. We're going to be right back. Ken's got to look at your weather coming up first, and we'll come back for the finished product with Julia.